Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I filmed a requested makeup look. This is a look that Deepika Padukone wore in her Diwani Masini uh, music video. At first I was kind of unsure about filming it because I was like, oh, it's not very dramatic, is it? It's very like subtle. But oh, whoops, hold on. Hold on. A glowy skin, bold brows. It's very young and youthful, I feel like. So disclaimers, um, obviously I don't look anything like her. I'm not trying to be like her. And thirdly, yeah, it's an inspired makeup tutorial. So yeah, if you want to see how I got this look, then keep watching. We'll start with the base because I think that's the most important part is having a really flawless face. So we're just going to prime our face. Then I'm going to pick a foundation. Usually for flawless face, I'd go with the NARS All Day Weightless Luminous Foundation. But today I'm also going to mix it with the Fit Me Dewy and Smooth Foundation. It's for normal to dry skin and it's in the color 310 Sun Beige. And the NARS one is in Syracuse. This one is NARS and then that one is Maybelline. So if I just use a Maybelline one, I feel like it doesn't fully match my skin. I'm just going to use my damp beauty blender to blend all of that out. Pounce, pounce, pounce. Just pounce away. Now that you've got your foundation on and you're sitting here looking like a potato, in the photo she doesn't have a contour or anything at all, but because she has cheekbones and I don't, I'm just going to add some cream contour. So I'm just going to grab a Real Techniques sculpting brush. Okay, so I'm going to grab my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit in medium. I'm just going to grab a little bit of cinnamon and I'm just going to put that underneath my cheekbone. I'm gonna grab some chocolate as well and just put that look right at the edge, kind of like just over here. And then I'm just gonna blend that upwards. I'm gonna grab the coral salmon color, put it on any dark kind of spots on my face, so here. And I'm gonna put that underneath my eyes because, you know, dark circles. We're just going to put some of that around the mouth. I'm just going to grab the tiniest bit of foundation on my beauty blender and just tap it on top of my mouth area where I put that um, salmon shade down. As usually I would have done it first but I clearly wasn't thinking. The shade which is cream and put that underneath my eyes. And I'm also going to put the shade Banana down as well, which is this one here. Oh, and this brush I'm using is by Jessup. It's got no name. I would just presume it's like a concealer brush or something. See, I don't even have much space on my forehead. This is the bane of my existence. It's like, let me just highlight the tiniest little piece of forehead I have. Now that we've blended out all the concealer, I'm just going to use the round side of the beauty blender and just go over where I put down that contour just so that gets blended out as well. I feel like I don't have enough brightness in my under eye as I would like to have. NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and this is in, in Ginger, yeah. I like using the Ben Nye Banana Powder right now and I use a little cosmetic sponge to set it. I'm going to pack that on underneath my eyes. Is Fawn by Anastasia and I'm just going to use a really fluffy brush a few times. And just blend it upwards where we put down that cream. To set the rest of my face, I'm using the Antipodes 4 Months Plus Skin Brightening Mineral Finishing Powder in Translucent. 
in the photo, she has quite rosy cheeks. So I'm gonna be using Turbinado in the Sleek Blush by 3 Sugar palette. She has it right in the apples of her cheeks, so I'm gonna suck my cheeks in. Eye primer today, I'm gonna be using Benefit Stay Don't Stray. I'm using a Jessup brush again. I like these brushes to be honest, like just for concealer, blending um, eye primer onto the lid and I like a few of the foundation brushes as well. The Naked Basics 2 palette. It's this one here and put it on top of my eyelid, it's called Skimp. And I'm using Zoeva's 227 Luxe Soft Definer. I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes. Maybelline Last Sensational Mascara and we're just gonna put it on our upper lashes and not our lower lashes because she's not wearing any mascara so well, it doesn't look like she is on our lower lashes If you get any mascara on your eyelids, I found that what a good thing to do is just grab the brush that you use to blend out your crease and just run it over the part like the little mascara dots, you don't even have to wait for it to dry. I mean, unless it's like a big gob, then obviously we'll just be making a mess. But if it's like a tiny little speck, then just run it back and forth and it just disappears. Yeah, I'm using the NARS Larger Than Life Nude Eyeliner. And I'm going to use that to line my lower waterline. Well, she doesn't have any mascara on her lower lashes, but her eyes look quite open and big. So that's what we're going to do. So eyes are pretty much done. As I said, it's quite simple. She's not wearing any eyeshadow. So we're gonna do our brows. Her brows are quite light and brown, but that's her hair. I have black brows, so I'm gonna be using Anastasia's Brow Wiz. I think maybe this is the first time I'm using this on camera. We're gonna set the brows with Maybelline's Brow Drama in dark brown. She seems to just have like a pink stain. So I'm gonna be using Benefit's um, Benetint. But first I'm gonna line my lips because my top lip just tends to disappear into my face. <laughs> this is a Kiss Australia Cameo Lip Liner. So that Benetint lip tint is just not working for me. So I'm gonna add something on top and then blot it away. I'm gonna be using the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Sun Paolo. It's still looking a little bit pink so on top of that I'm just gonna apply some Velvet Titty by MAC and hopefully that tones it down a little bit. Yeah, I just want to clean up the edges around my lips. I'm going to be using LA Girl Pro Conceal in Cool Tan. Oh, and I'll also pop some on top of that pimple that I completely forgot to conceal. Lastly, we just have to highlight what does she use? Does she use a. Ooh, she's very golden. So let's go the gold route. I'm going to be using Mika's Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. This one here, because she's very nice and glowy. This is like one of my favorite parts, is like highlight. And we'll just chuck some out in our corner as well. What side is the hair parted on? Oh damn, it's a center part. I can't rock center parts. <laughs> my hair won't even part in the center. So yeah, this is the finished look guys. I just threw on a nose chain which I picked up from a um, Indian clothing store. I couldn't find one similar only because they didn't have a huge variety of the individual ones. Oh and one other thing was I've been getting a ton of questions about my hair. Like I think that's like the, mo the most asked question or like the most requested thing for me to film a like a hair video. I was thinking I would film that in the next few weeks but what I would like to ask you guys is leave any comments below of anything you want to ask me about my hair, if you have any questions or anything specific that I can address because 
I really wouldn't know what to talk about. My hair is very low maintenance, like straight up. I'm already gonna tell you, there's gonna be like nothing exciting. I mean, it looks cute on camera, but realistically, it's only been styled once this week, and that's today. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and leave a comment down below of any other requests that you guys have. I currently have a lot of requests to get through, which I love, because I always have something that I want to film. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope everyone has a good day or night, wherever you guys are, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys. Hi, Anastasia Bilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilbilb